Some of the craziest, one-of-a-kind and strange structures that one could not even fathom being possible were made by man. In light of this, keep watching this video to learn about the most bizarre buildings in the world. Longaberger Basket Building The Longaberger Basket is a structure in Newark, Ohio that is seven stories tall. Once upon a time, it served as the headquarters of the Longaberger Company, a maker of handcrafted wood baskets. The big basket can accommodate 500 people and is situated on 21.5 acres. With time, the structure evolved into a popular tourist site that the community wanted to maintain. In 2017, the property was purchased by Steve Kuhn, a developer from Newark, and historic Newark Basket for a total price of $1.2 million. After three years, the new landlords agreed with a Florida developer to sell the Newark landmark for a price of $5.5 million. On the other hand, Kuhn changed his mind when the $20 billion Intel business stated that they were going to visit the city. He decided to hold off on selling the building and instead wait for its value to increase. In response to this, the new purchaser initiated legal action. Not only does Kuhn risk losing his land, but he also runs the risk of having to pay significant penalties. As of right now, it is unclear what the new function of the big basket will be. King Power, Mahanakon. Many unique examples of high-tech architecture can be discovered in Thailand, and one of these examples can be located in Bangkok. Undoubtedly, the King Power Mahanakon is among the most impressive buildings in the world. Furthermore, it is one of the highest structures in Thailand, standing at a height of 1,030 feet and 79 stories above ground. Glass blocks were used to create the amazing design, reminiscent of the blocks used in the video game Tetris. On the other hand, the glass blocks are missing at the highest and midway points, and it seems as if they have fallen out. There is a bar located on the rooftop that offers the most breathtaking views of Bangkok. Residences, duty-free stores, the Ritz-Carlton residence, the Orient Express Hotel with an outdoor swimming pool, and the incredible Skywalk Observation Deck are all within its boundaries. The Crooked House, Kurziwi Domek, a building in Sopo, Poland known as the Little Crooked House, is considered to be one of the most peculiar structures in the whole world. It seems to have been plucked from a storybook. The award-winning building, which was 4,000 square meters and covered one acre, was constructed in 2004. The roof is made of blue-green shingles that are supposed to seem like a dragon, and the walls and windows are curved in such a way that they give the impression that they are distorted photographs. On the other hand, the inside is not nearly as visually appealing as the outside, which is why it is the most photographed building in Sopo. In addition to being a local radio station, the Crooked House is home to several eateries and cafes. It is mostly at night that the location comes to life. Also, Visitation is open to anybody and everyone. Stone House, Casa do Pinedo. There is no question that the Stone House in Faith, Portugal is undoubtedly one of the strangest structures. It is sometimes referred to as the Castle of Stone, and it was constructed in 1972 by an engineer named Guimarães, utilizing four enormous stones that he discovered in the surrounding region. The replica of a Stone Age dwelling was intended to serve as a rural hideaway for a family originally from Faith. However, as soon as the number of visitors increased, the owners decided to leave. Currently, the Stone House is a modest museum accessible to the general public. Before you go there, remember that it is still private property. Thus, it is essential to investigate whether or not they are open. Casa Mila, La Pedrera. After the Sagrada Familia, Casa Mila is considered one of Barcelona's most well-known structures. At the time of its completion in 1912, the Catalan modernist edifice is widely recognized as Gaudi's last civil construction undertaking. Because of its irregular stone exterior and wrought iron balconies, Casa Mila was undoubtedly one of the most peculiar structures during that historical period. Casa Mila serves as a residence for three individuals, a cultural center, and a museum. You should get your tickets in advance, since it is often crowded. At the box office, tickets cost around $27, while online tickets cost approximately $25 and include an English audio tour. Piano and Violin Building. Architectural students from Hefe University of Technology were responsible for the design of this project, which functions as a showroom for displaying development ideas. During the year 2007, the structure was finished. Additionally, the principal purpose of the work is housed on the piano, while the vertical circulation of the project is contained inside the violin component of the composition. 
This structure has become a well-known tourist destination, and it is often believed to be the most romantic building in China for newlyweds. We believe this would be a wonderful picture opportunity for those passionate about music. Kansas City Library. This building is located in Kansas City, Missouri, and it shows the community bookshelf. Book spines measuring 25 feet by 9 feet are featured on the facade, promoting 22 books that are representative of various genres and are available for anybody to enjoy. 2004 was the year when the library was constructed and the community bookshelf was concealing the parking garage owned by the library district. Intending to give the parking structure more personality, the design resulted from a group effort on behalf of the community. It is a fun fact that the Kansas City Public Library Board of Trustees chose the names of the books that the public voted on as their favorites after receiving public submissions. Lucy the Elephant. William Free and J. Mason Kirby were the architects who built this interesting piece of architecture that was constructed in 1881. Initially, Lucy was constructed to attract visitors and promote real estate sales. Lucy is the oldest roadside tourist attraction that is still operating in the United States of America. However, we aren't sure whether it was successful. Lucy has several programs installed for the inside area. Nevertheless, it is presently being used as a potential destination for Airbnb and is undergoing construction for repairs. Memorial Day in 2024 is the gold date for the reopening of the establishment, which is just around the horizon. The Beagle Hotel. This bed and breakfast, known as Sweet Willie in the neighborhood, was constructed as a beagle and has two bedrooms. Dennis Sullivan and Francis Conklin were the ones who conceived and constructed the world's biggest beagle bed and breakfast inn, which opened its doors in the year 2003. We are not certain if competition is now taking place for bed and breakfasts in the form of other canines. However, the idea of traveling down a rabbit hole captures our attention. Dennis and Francis still run the Beagle Hotel, which was designed as a tribute to the crazy roadside attractions that were popular during the early days of interstate vehicle travel. The Pineapple. The Pineapple is a summer house constructed for the 4th Earl of Dunmore. It is a two-story structure that is remarkable, quirky, inventive, and wonderful. The smooth stone transition from classical edifice to rampant fruit is a magical effect, comparable to the transformation of fur coats into fir trees in the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. In addition to that, it is a complex joke. When the 4th Earl of Dunmore was governor of Virginia, sailors would place a pineapple on a gatepost to signal their return home. Thus, after being compelled to return home in 1777, Lord Dunmore's attitude was that he would eat the largest pineapple of the bunch to commemorate his own regretful homecoming. Currently, the National Trust for Scotland owns the property, while the Landmark Trust is the tenant. Pineapples were almost completely unknown in the United Kingdom when it was constructed. Wren Building. The structure was constructed in a manner that is congruent with the city's motto, Better City, Better Life. The first structure from the sea is devoted to activities involving the body, such as sports and aquatic culture. Subsequently, the second structure that emerges from the land is devoted to enlightenment and spirit. To create a one-of-a-kind structure, the two buildings have been combined into a single hotel with a total of 1,000 rooms. The hotel's design was influenced by the Chinese character, people. The ingenuity of this region's design is shown by establishing a connection between the land and the sea. The two come together to form a single structure in the center. By forming a square, the arch provides protection from precipitation for outdoor meetings and activities, while at the same time allowing sunshine to enter from both sides. The public is provided with a nice environment along the banks of the river thanks to this location, which has curved plazas and buildings that are continuous. On the occasion of the World Expo in Shanghai in 2010, it was an easily identifiable landmark. One of the most breathtaking views of the Huangpu River can be seen from this very abstract and famous structure. Nativity of the Giraffe. A daycare facility in Paris is called the Nativity of the Giraffe. The purpose of this was to stimulate the imagination of a youngster, particularly concerning the urban environment. The top story is supported by its giraffe, a supporting framework. In addition to a 20-bed daycare, the facility has a childcare center with 60 beds. These structures provide the location with an atmosphere suitable for children. It seems as if the giraffe is enjoying itself while eating leaves from nearby park. The structure is constructed in such a manner that incorporates narrative into the architectural design. 
Guests must go past the leg of the giraffe to get access to the entryway, since it is positioned in such a manner. The space is a metaphor for the urban jungle within an area ranging from 100,000 to 300,000 square feet. People living in metropolitan areas are inspired to live with a little bit of poetry by the building's whimsical and surreal construction. The Vessel Thomas Heatherwick envisioned the vessel as a focal point of the city, from which one could see the city from various perspectives. It is possible to have a breathtaking view of the city, the river, and the surrounding area if you rise vertically at this height and take steps that link to one another. The far west of Manhattan has been completely redesigned due to this mega project spanning 28 acres. The items were produced in Italy and then sent to the United States of America. The construction is designed to have a distinctive form to make it stand out like a Christmas tree throughout the year. A total of $200 million was spent on the construction. The stairs, which are covered in copper and resemble jungle gyms, were modeled by Indian stepwells. The capacity is 1,000 persons at a time. Additionally, the building has ramps and elevators to make it accessible to those with disabilities. The structure has been subjected to a great deal of criticism for being referred to as Manhattan's answer to the Eiffel Tower. However, according to the architect, he was motivated by a recollection from his boyhood that included an old flight of steps abandoned at a local construction site where he had grown up. Manhattan has undergone a significant makeover due to the aspiration to construct a magnificent and transformative skyscraper on Hudson Yards, Bund Finance Center. It is a structure known as the Bund that links Shanghai's contemporary and historic parts. The building is surrounded by a moving veil that follows the activities within the structure. A Chinese wedding headgear inspired the design of the veil, which has three tracks with tassels made of magnesium alloy. When the veil is moved, it has a variety of tassels that overlap with varying degrees of transparency. Bringing about a revitalization of the Shanghai waterfront was the goal of creating such a unique place. This significant location spans 43,000 square feet and is at the ending point of Shanghai's most well-known thoroughfare. According to the architects, this area provides visitors with a new perspective on the cultural legacy of China from which they benefit. An appearance like that of a gem is imparted to the exteriors of the building by the bronze accents. A total of 675 tassels made of magnesium alloy are scattered throughout its three tracks. The tassel has a variable length that ranges from 2 to 16 meters, and it is designed so that each track may move independently. At various moments during the day, the three veils move in a manner that overlaps with one another, resulting in the building having a variety of forms and degrees of transparency. The flowing veil forms a one-of-a-kind background for the theater city, providing guests with an amazing experience and illuminating the stage simultaneously. Atomium. The city of Brussels, which serves as the capital of Belgium, is where you will find the peculiar Atomium edifice. Even though it is 102 meters tall, Andre Waterkeen designed the Atomium, and it has the form of an iron unit cell. The whole structure was constructed out of stainless steel, and columns were united with clad spheres to complete the design. Each of the spheres has a diameter that is 28 meters long, and the length of the tubes is 2298 meters. Within these tubes, escalators have been placed for the sake of the guests. The highest level of the structure has all of the necessary amenities, such as a restaurant and vistas. Robot biting. To pay respect to the scientific and industrial advancements that have taken place in the city, architect Sumet Jumsai created this structure to have the appearance of a massive robot. A cafe, a fitness center, and a swimming pool are all located inside the building, home to the United Overseas Bank. The distinctive architecture of the building has provided it with a position in the cityscape, allowing it to stand out amid the more conventional buildings in its immediate vicinity. As a result of the building's robotic elements and sparkling facade, which visitors often admire, the building is a well-liked attraction, not just among tourists, but also among residents. The House Attack 2008 was the year that the well-known Austrian artist Erwin Worm created the House Attack project. The project is a home that is suspended from the ceiling of the Museum of Modern Art in an inverted position. His interpretation is that this piece of art is a representation of families that are struggling to overcome obstacles and difficulties. A few hundred years ago, it was simple to compile a list of the most stunning structures in the world. The Parthenon, the Taj Mahal, and other such structures were among the most prominent examples. 
But when it comes to architecture, it is now much more difficult to discover universality, which refers to structures such as the house attack that visitors will undoubtedly visit for many years, Hotel Tianzi. The Hotel Tianzi was the biggest image building in the world when it was first registered in the Guinness Book of Records during the year 2000 to 2001, shortly after its completion. Located at a height of 41.6 meters, the structure represents Fu Lu Sha, a god believed to bestow good fortune, wealth, and longevity. The locals refer to the hotel as the Emperor Hotel and Son of Heaven Hotel, despite the actual name being Tianzi, the Corpus Museum. The Corpus Museum is undoubtedly one of the most peculiar structures in the Netherlands. Beatrix, the Queen of the Netherlands, launched the establishment in 2008, and it is situated close to the highway that connects Amsterdam and The Hague. In reality, the construction is a translucent structure that stands at a height of 35 meters and depicts a picture of a man seated in a pose of comfort. For the purpose of displaying the inside of the human body and its activities in a more accurate manner, fiberglass was used inside of it. The primary purpose of a trip to this peculiar museum is to provide visitors with an educational experience. By visiting this museum, visitors may learn, among other things, why we sleep and what occurs when we sneeze. In the comments section below, please share with us which structure you find the most strange and the reason for your opinion. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.